The heist is a staple of pop culture. Across our entertainment, we seem to love the idea of a bunch of people putting their heads together, gathering equipment, finding weak points and blueprints, and bribing guards to create the perfect in and out scenario that nets them the precious goods they're looking for. Followed, of course, by a narrow escape under the noses of police, casino bosses, rival gangs, and whoever else was standing in the way of our thieves as they grabbed the goods and got gone. The video game heist is an even better version of this classic heist because the player becomes part of the hunt. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are the 10 best bank heists in gaming history. Number 10. When Good Heists Go Bad Saints Row 3 The first two games in the Saints Row franchise were serious stories of street gangs battling for dominance. This game is not that. No, this game is one where you can arm yourself with a four-foot sex toy and beat the crap out of cops, other gang members, or even just randos on the street. Being the first game to embrace the wackier side of the franchise, the introductory mission, When Good Heists Go Bad, sets the tone right away. The Saints have become media darlings, beloved by the public as a big middle finger to authority, including endorsement deals and their own energy drink. Go on to the gritty elements of the first two games as you pull a bank robbery that includes custom who want selfies and autographs from the SR gang and are anything but fearful when the saints enter the bank dressed like Johnny Gat, oversized masks and all. Despite the low-key plan, the mission devolves into a firefight where the police have to be held off long enough for the saints to execute the ultimate step of their heist, pulling the whole vault from the bank with a helicopter. Fast and Furious style. That attracts heavier armed SWAT teams and things go downhill pretty quickly from there. For those expecting the first or second Saints Row, this mission was either an exercise in frustration or a laugh out loud delight. Number 9. The Cooper Vault Job Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves Instead of being a single mission in a game, this whole game is a heist. At the end of Sly's previous title, Band of Thieves, he learns about the Cooper Vault, a massive storehouse of wealth that Sly's family has accumulated. Unfortunately, Dr. M has taken over the island where the vault is housed, leading to game-long preparations and recruiting of a team to get rid of Dr. M and reclaim what Sly views as his. At the game's very start, you're given a chance to figure out game mechanics and dynamics before our hero Sly ends up in a near-death situation that looks bad for the smooth, suave raccoon. The game is then set up as a series of flashbacks of the twists and turns of Sly building his heist team, as you, the player, get to see what both old and new characters bring to the table. The game then loops back to Sly's near death during the heist itself, putting you back in the action for a final showdown with both Dr. M and Sly's frenemy, Carmelita. A classic of the PS2 era, the game mixes is the cute animal and platforming tropes of the early thousands with a solid heist plotline that moves Sly's story along to the following game Thieves in Time, and received several remasters for following console generations. Number 8. Panamanian Bank – Splinter Cell Chaos Theory When it first came out, Splinter Cell helped define the stealth genre as you stepped into the boots of Sam Fisher, a US government operative tasked with taking on various world-saving missions, and voiced by the awesome Michael Ironside to boot. The third mission, in which Sam is tasked with breaking into a Panamanian bank, is an exercise in patience. Using your gadgets, wits, and stealth, Sam has to access three separate locks for a high-security vault and the 50 million in bonds that reside within. However, surprise! Stealing the bonds is just a cover for Sam's real mission, figuring out who the buyer was for a load of illegal weapons fronted by the bank. Along the way, you can also hack into several computers and plant fake emails that make it look look like an inside job, as well as collect optional intel and delete surveillance footage. You'll have to contend with suspicious guards, cameras, motion sensors, retinal scanners, and laser alarms along the way, resulting in a fantastic heist mission in one of the best stealth games ever made. Number 7. Heist of the Centuries Fallout New Vegas Dead Money is one of four DLC packs for New Vegas, offering up a different experience from anything that came before. After following a 200-year-old radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening celebration of the elegant Sierra Madre Casino, you end up with a bomb collar around your neck, placed there by the cryptic Father Elijah. 
Elijah, a former elder of the Brotherhood of Steel, stumbled across the Sierra Madre and saw not only an opportunity to gain new technology for the Brotherhood, but also to gain revenge on the hated New California Republic. Your character is forced into a city full of corrosive gas, new enemies called ghost people, lethal security holograms, and traps. The casino itself is full of security, protecting a massive vault full of gold and other goods. Along the way, you're forced to work with other unfortunate that Elijah has coerced into tackling the Sierra Madre, making your way through a story that's full of the dark humor Fallout is known for. It also presents you with a surprisingly poignant story about the nature of greed, the cost of trauma, and the tragic results of obsession. If successful, you'll have certainly left with a load of riches and new equipment, as well as a new piece of the amazing overarching game that is New Vegas. Number 6. The Bank Heist Thief 2014 DLC The 2014 remake of Thief was not as groundbreaking as the original two games from 1998 and 2000, and not quite as well loved, but it admittedly had a pretty big legacy to live up to. There is one mission, however, that recaptures the glory of the well-loved Thief 2, and that's the Bank Heist DLC. Playing as legendary thief Garrett, the Bank Heist tasks you with getting to and cracking open an impenetrable vault. Your goal? Retrieve the Star of Aldale, a massive jewel being stored there after Lady Hudnell's untimely death. The mission doesn't make anything easy for you. The combination to the vault has to be gleaned through finding a series of documents talking about the vault's combination, its broken lock, and repairs that need to be done to it. The Stone Market Bank is loaded with traps that need to be avoided or disarmed, and roaming guards mean sticking to the shadows or knocking them out from behind. The Bank Heist is a throwback to the outstanding First City Bank and Trust mission from Thief 2, and will require planning, cunning, and use of almost all of Garrett's tools and Thief's tricks. Number 5. Three Leaf Clover GTA 4 The mission is simple. Rob the Bank of Liberty of a cool million in cash. What starts out as a well-planned operation with hostages taken and cash in hand goes bad when your partner Michael is shot. In short order, the police are notified and seemingly every cop in the game arrives at the bank. This leads to an epic running gun battle against the police. Then noose agents and another gang as you and your surviving crew work to create a path for themselves through the back alleys of Liberty City, with the goal of reaching Chinatown and the subway station there. The subway station eventually leads to freedom, but the game doesn't make it easy for you in getting there. Kill too many hostages? Fail. Money you stole gets destroyed? Fail. Can't shake your wanted level? Fail. Unlike other GTA 4 missions that can be done with brute force, Three Leaf Clover requires planning, restraint, and cunning. But the result is a tense, heart-pounding heist that nets you a quarter of a million bucks if you can pull it off. Number 4. The Bank Job Dishonored Death of the Outsider This mission from the DLC Death of the Outsider tasks you with stealing an enchanted twin-bladed knife, which is to be used to kill the titular Outsider. Playing as assassin Billy Lurk, you're asked to shift your talents and tools from assassination to thievery, breaking into the fortress like Dolores Michaels' deposit and loan bank. Dishonored has always been about letting you play exactly your way, and the bank job is no different. Want to sneak through the sewers or garbage disposal? Check. Want to put a knockout substance into the vents to gas everyone in the bank? Check. Teleport around the bank, avoiding electric fields and steampunk mechanical sentries. Check. Like other great heists, the bank job is fantastic because it's so replayable, letting you tackle the goals again and again in whatever fashion you like. The possibilities and combinations are almost endless. Number 3. The Diamond Casino GTA 5 Online Many people thought Rockstar mad when they decided to not only create an online mode for GTA 5, but to keep producing top draw DLC as well. They've had the last laugh, as GTA Online has proven to be a long-running success as an addition to one of the best games ever made. One of the additions to the game were heists, basically chances to plan robberies with a group of buddies, and one of the finest heists was the Diamond Casino. Difficult? Absolutely, but the payoff was immense, potentially paying out over 11 million depending on difficulty. The game makes you work for your money though, as the casino is a tough nut to crack, requiring a ton of planning, but like the best heist missions, also giving you lots of ways to approach it. Stealth your thing? No problem, you can plan it so you are undetected throughout. More the Danny Ocean type? 
Pick up disguises, take on new identities, and arm yourself with ceramic pistols that won't trigger the metal detectors as you walk the floors like you own the place. Or since this is, after all, a video game, you can go in guns blazing, wipe out anyone in your way, and have to contend with Los Santos' finest, backed up by heavily armed and pissed off noose agents. Replayability makes the Diamond Casino a must-try for GTA Online fans. Number 2. The Big Bank Payday 2 In a game built on heists, the Big Bank is a standout. A fan favorite for its huge play area, the in-depth planning needed, and the wide variety of approaches that can be taken, whether you want to ninja your way through the bank or crash through the roof and start shooting. The mission is a one-day contract assigned to you by the dentist, played by the awesome in anything he's in, Giancarlo Esposito. Your job is to rob the benevolent bank, a beautiful but fortress-like building brimming with guards and security. This heist takes careful planning and the use of all the resources you have at your disposal. Your blueprints and pre-heist intel are invaluable should you choose to use them and allow for subtle infiltration of the bank, silent dispatching of guards and employees, and avoidance of electronic security and cameras. Or if that's not your style, you can say hell to the stealthy approach, kick in the skylight and drop into the bank, setting off immediate alarms that will result in SWAT teams flooding into the bank to take you out. If you're looking to recreate the iconic bank heist from Heat, now's your chance. Number 1. First City Bank and Trust Thief 2 the Metal Age. Thief 2, despite being over 20 years old, is one of the finest stealth games ever. Looking Glass did an amazing job creating steampunk versions of tools like tranquilizer gas, grappling hooks, and distraction devices, all designed as arrows and providing you with lots of play options. As Master Thief Garrett, First City Bank and Trust sees you pitting your skills against a bank full of human guards, clockwork robot guards, and security measures. Unlike most other missions in the Thief games, you're not seeking fortune for yourself, but are helping take part in an ongoing campaign to overthrow the corrupt Sheriff Truant and the conspiracy he's involved in. While there are certainly goodies to slip into your pockets, your goal is to find a certain safe deposit box, access the vault, and recover a voice recording that provides incriminating evidence against the Sheriff. The large size of the bank and the different enemy and alarm types gives you the chance to use most of your tools and all of your skills while presenting some unique challenges. Do you risk a well-lit hallway for some secondary loot? Do you shoot the clockwork guards with water arrows to shut them down and possibly alert the guards? Or do you creep around them? First City Bank and Trust is a fantastic mission in a fantastic stealth game that helps set the standard for the genre. And that is our list. Do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any any other excellent bank heists that you reckon belong on this list. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great gaming lists.